simplify and write in scientific notation. And in the parentheses, we've got 7 times 10 to the 4th power, and we're going to raise that whole parenthesis to the 3rd power. All right, so that's the storyline here today on T and Learn's math line. Simplify and write. Okay, so first of all, scientific notation, what's inside the parenthesis already is in scientific notation. We're going to take that quantity, and we're going to raise it up. We're going to raise it up to the 3rd power, all right, folks, which is the same thing as taking this parenthesis times itself three times. So what's really going on here, because this is multiplication here, that's a big deal. So let's take a look at this. We got times 10 to the fourth, and we're taking all of that to the third. Now that's not an x, that's just a time symbol, okay? It's a fancy looking one, isn't it? But anyway, we're gonna take everything inside here. That's not an x, that's a time symbol. So we're gonna do seven to the third, and then we're gonna multiply, I'll put a dot there. That makes it a little bit nicer, doesn't it? And then we're gonna take 10 to the well, what do we do when we have a 4 and a 3 there? What do we do out there, ladies and gentlemen? We are not going to add them. Nope. We're going to multiply them because that 3 is kind of attached to the parenthesis out there. Just like we made this go to the third power, we're going to take this 10 to the fourth and raise it to the third power also. All right? Which is going to give us 12. We're going to multiply. All right, okay? No plusing on this. We're going to take and multiply. So here's where we are. We're at 7 to the third times, wow, 10 to the 12th power. Let's check out what 7 to the 3rd is. That's going to give us 343 times our 10 to the 12th power. All right. Once again, that's 7 times 7 times 7. That ain't 21, people. All right. That is 7 times 7 times 7, which is going to give us 343. Now, the problem, the problem is it's not totally simplified yet. All right. What we need to do now is to get this into scientific notation which means I need to get that decimal between the 3 and the 4. That's the first 3 and the 4 over there, all right? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this go to 3 and 43 hundredths, or 3.43 as we like to say here on MathLine. And we're going to see what does that give us. Well, it gives us times 10 to, uh-oh, something happened. We just increased, this is basically, we have just increased, we have decreased 343 to 3 and 43 hundredths, which means we've got to compensate for it, folks, over here. We've got to move it up. How many powers did we move? We moved two decimal places. So we've got to add 2 to that 12 over there, balance it out, and that's going to give us 10 to the 14th. Now, if you want to get that in standard form, that's a lot of zeros, okay? But uh, right now, all I did is ask us for, let's get the scientific notation, and that will be life is good. For more math help, visit tnlearn.org.